Martin Luther King Jr. once said, "Every man must decide whether he will walk in the light of creative altruism, or in the darkness of destructive selfishness." The phenomenon of altruism presents certain problems for evolutionary scholars. There are two notable definitions of altruism. The philosophical definition of altruism is the belief or practice of disinterested and selfless concern for the well-being of others. Another biological definition of altruism is any behavior of an animal that increases the fitness of another while decreasing its own fitness. Altruism does not appear to fit with evolutionary theory, because decrease in fitness will result in decrease in gene proliferation. It becomes especially problematic when you consider other evolutionary theories, such as kin selection. Kin selection is natural selection in favor of behavior by individuals. That may decrease their chance of survival, but increase that of their kin, especially those who share a portion of their genes. To better understand the correlation between altruism and kin selection, consider the case of a firefighter who has to make a choice between saving his brother or a stranger. According to kin selection theory. The firefighter is more likely to save his brother because he shares half of his genes. Despite the fact that it seems as though he saved his brother with a selfless disregard for his own life, in fact there may be some underlying biological factors. In the case where he saves a stranger, this may be a true act of altruism. And it would not offer any advantage to the proliferation of his genes. In the case where the firefighter chooses to save his brother, the underlying biological factors can be explained by making a distinction between gene-centric and organism-centric view of evolutionary processes. The gene-centric view is the evolutionary view where the goal is to propagate the gene. And not the individual. This view lends itself to explaining altruism. In Richard Dawkins' book *The Selfish Gene*, which expands on the biological basis of altruism, he states that the fundamental unit of selection, and therefore of self-interest, is not the species, nor the group, nor even strictly the individual. It is the gene, the unit of heredity. If our genes are selfish, how does this explain altruistic behaviors? In another one of Dawkins' works, he argues that behaviors of the organism should be considered as phenotypes of genes. This allows the firefighter to behave altruistically despite the selfishness of his genes. Altruism does require the individual to sacrifice its own fitness, but evolutionary processes are not motivated by the organism, but by genes. If we are to accept this view, then altruism is not necessarily problematic at all.